He has taken and, and lemons and turned it in the left. You know, he can do whatever he wants, but I think this to learn under Saul Phillips would be James Gullen, one of the first off the bench for the Bobcats, cradles it and finds the open shooter. That's a foul. Or needs to be taken. Or Gullen. And do for three now. And it leads to an Ohio timeout. But we're not kidding when we say Toledo has helps today. I said, are you going to change anything knowing you have to extend on those three-point jumpers? But you have to know where the shooters are. And there's Kirk getting in there. And Adu called for that one. Means if we can get a, a sequence where we can telestrate it because. Ooh. Man. Adu, second shot blocker in the match. And that's great recognition by Adu helping out. Watch. Meniplast goes to the basket strong. Or if that was a foul or not. No. no. This kid, Adu, is going to be something special. I mean, he Adu dropping a three ball. So far, Toledo four for nine in this first. They've taken an early 15-point lead. And Ohio hasn't hit a three. Kirk with some hesitation. Draws the crowd, and here's Ben Vander. He's got a big body, not the quickest of foot, but he is intelligent on the low block, I'll tell you that. What a find inside. There's lead for Toledo. Another block for a two. A beast. You cannot bring it in there with a guy whose wingspan is out. You gotta pull up and shoot that jump shot, epping down defensively, especially in the paint. There's been a lot of 1v1s. For Joe, it's, it's definitely Saul Phillips, the kind of guy he is. I mean, he's never gonna let. Oh, man, he's too late on going head. Vandeplas wide open, or block wide open. Gullen, sir, they're almost moving the ball too much here. Now, Gullen is the fourth block, courtesy of AJ Du. But, but the ball movement was great. The ball movement for Ohio, but you just stay out of the lane. I mean, sometimes you're overpassing. You've got to take the shot when you're open. I thought, and he was open a little bit earlier. That's like an eighth grader taking care of a fifth grader in the playground, <laughs> you know, a time in Toledo. I mean, this, this kid is talented. Coming out in the first half, knocked off Radford. One of their good wins. Radford's got wins over Texas. No. Toledo started out 12 and 1. That's their best start in five years. He wrapped him around his waist and pushed the dude down. Jackson, a little bit out of control. So he's got the offense. And and I think that the Toledo's just having the ball in their hands too long. Dean. That's the lead with 11 minutes to play. How about tonight's Golden Corral teams that are hungry? They have to clean up their play a little bit. A guy like AJ Eskett, he can clean up a lot. Look at those arms. Well, that's smart. What he does is try to swat it. The old Bill Russell defense is what I think ball in the, you know, Navigado, get the ball to do. Team that can be very dangerous, especially when offense is their mainstay. That's fine. Kirk was all the way on the baseline. But it's... They're taking a lot of time. I mean, they're running the shot clock down and still not get a quick bucket. Kirk's feeling, yeah, but that one's not there for him. Well, that was a one applause for Navigato. A career 42% three-point shooter. So now Toledo 